Hello friends, welcome back. And also uh, into the panel, you can see this edit options. So I think this edit options only displayed by the customizer API, I believe when it's a, um, when it's a selective refresh. So if I click here, then it will redirect me to the, that page. So if I go to the click here, then I will simply update it here. So let me just remove it. So you don't have to find the settings here it will directly this edit icon will redirect uh, will open that settings for you into the into the panel okay and if i publish the changes if i refresh it again and now we have also for the edit icon for our copyright text because because of writing selective refresh i'm not 100 percent sure right now but i think this is the way because there are no options uh were displayed for the for the uh, for the uh, settings options right so if i click here then it will update it here so let me just uh, remote and then publish okay and if i go to the blog page we don't have that here for the uh, for the um for for our display the display tags and display categories uh, uh options right so i have also have to look for how this edit icon works like but by default i have noticed that if it's a selective refresh method then the edit icon has been displayed by the customized api but maybe i could be wrong but i have observed that <laughs> okay so yeah uh, that has been uh, this uh, will be like this is more about like uh, demo of how we can add customizer setting control sections panels partials and different types of refresh methods and everything okay so now if you gonna see about the set um, i think into setting into the customized setting we can have that option called pre option or uh, what was the filter called uh, no sorry let me let me go to the get option and what was the filter name pre option underscore and it should be here yeah here pre option underscore okay it's a uh, double quotes i was searching with a single quote okay so here you can see the id base the, the id base of our setting and then preview filter function callback and here if it's a theme mode then it's a theme mode if it's a is not multi-dimensional then it will otherwise it will use this theme mode underscore filter or something um i don't know about how this is what is the use of the multi-dimensional have to like you can go through all these classes and files to understand more but here the filter has been added and used uh to to return the um save the changes of the customizer like customizer settings whether it's a draft or it will get the data from the like whenever the user inputs the change make a changes or provide a new inputs it will make a call to the php for the selective refresh using the javascript we can do or for on to the refresh and if it's uh, going to depends on the type of the option uh, of the setting if it's a theme mode then pre filter the theme mode and if it's an option then filter the pre using the pre options filter uh, so that it will return and for the refresh purpose right so because when we make a changes then we in the live preview we have to make a preview of that live right otherwise there is no meaning of adding the settings into the customizer because if you make a changes to the customizer and if the user cannot see the preview then there is no that's not the use case right so so there are many things to dig into like um to learn more about how this internally custom customizer apis works okay so in, if you into the code base into the wp includes folder you can see this setting sections panel control manager um then the widgets and into the customizer folder um into the sorry go to the wp includes yeah in the customizer folder in uh, under the wp includes folder you can see all the uh, control like image control they have created image control right um then the media control we have uh, they have created so this controller custom controls you can also create apart from the default controls right 
uh, instead of the HTML controls, you can create like custom color control, menu control, they have, uh, WordPress has been created, right? WordPress have created. So we can also create a custom control, custom panel, custom sections, everything through by extending the WordPress uh, classes. And then we can use that, uh, we can use that uh, classes for registering sections, panel settings and controls, right? So you can go through it and also like, uh, WordPress theme, WordPress, uh, sorry, 2021 theme also add uh, custom controls. So if you go to here, go to the INC, not a classes folder here. Yeah. You can see this customized control, uh, customized color control. Uh, it extend the color control uh, default class to provide uh, or to extend the uh, default color control uh, class provided by the WordPress. Okay, so that you can and also you can pass the type. So using the type, we can manage it easily right um then the notice control created using the wp customized control base class so this uh, also created <laughs> so you can you can go through this uh, the examples also to understand how this like how we can create a custom control and bind to the settings and we can use that one right so there are many and if you know more about the uh, default uh, controllers controls so you can go through this customized folder image control position control there are many header image control new menu controls uploader controls everything site icon control right um so you can go through it mm, okay so yeah that's all about i won't take much more time um i will see if i record another video about how this internal works like behind the scenes how the customizer apis works behind because that customized API is a huge, it's not just a PHP, but it's also a JavaScript. So, but this is the basic overview, like not a basic, but a little bit more than the basic where we have seen how we can uh, extend the functionality of the customizer, how we can add custom settings, how we can manage live previews, how we can use that, and how a little bit works through the database as well, the custom post types and how customizer API manage to preview the changes even without modifying the actual options into the database so so these are very important for now okay yeah so you can go through uh, this handbook uh, in the theme handbook you can have this customizer api and their sub handbook pages so you can go through each and every uh, pages and you will learn more about it okay and also parallelly you can explore the wordpress core code base uh, to understand more okay yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Enjoy WordPress.